for ways to get in your zone. This is Philip Montrose, my wife Jane and I. We help people step up and tap into the heart of success with holistic coaching and healing. And remember a time, the thrill of when you were engaged fully in a creative project, a singing, dancing, performing, could be coaching or healing, maybe just playing with a pet or a child, the wonder of it, the thrill of it, just being in that timeless moment, fully engaged, fully alive, being you and exploring the possibilities. In other words, being in the zone. And then that ends, of course. You come back down to earth, so to speak, and you return to a normal, hopefully stable life, relatively happy, because you can't always be in the zone, but you want to return perhaps regularly to it. Uh, And there are four ways I'm going to suggest to do so. One, dream and live your dream. There is a magic in thinking big. Uh, You could expand the way you think to include how to make the world a better place. Imagine the whole world and there are things about it which could be definitely improved and you might want to play a part. We're talking about perhaps social justice or equality or the environment or something else, something that concerns you. It's all important but something might stand out for you. And you want to find a way to contribute considering your talents, skills, and interests. Again, you may not know how to connect the dots now, but being in the zone is a way to get there and and making that difference that that only you can really make with your skills and interests and talents and your energy and direction. One lady that I coached, uh, she she looked at this big picture about wanting uh, the, the medical system to be a better place, make it more functional. So that led her to pursue her interests and her goals about uh, uh, holistic healing, energy work, and following her heart in that direction and making the world a healthier place. Second key, second way to get into the zone, into your zone, is enjoy life by counting your blessings and blessing others. Now we talked about the dream, the big dream. There's also little dreams, small dreams, uh, the magic <laughs> of thinking small, little tiny things, leading the good life, as as columnist David Brooks wrote in May 2015, New York Times. Uh, there is the small happy life, uh, doing little things that make life better, volunteering, being kind, uh, being loving and benevolent, and the small happy life might include contributing your time or money to others or community work, or going out of your way to help people, maybe in small ways, maybe anonymous ways. Remember one thing, that you not only want to give to others and be kind to others, but also be giving to yourself and kind to yourself. Um, We recently went to our favorite local Mexican restaurant, and the uh, cashier, who's also the owner, is always beaming and smiling, and I asked him, what is your secret for being uh, so happy all the time? And he said, well... I see beauty everywhere, Philip, in the people around me and in the environment. You see, I grew up in Mexico and we didn't even have running toilets and and we're short on food a lot of the time. So right now I'm so thankful for so many things. Third key to being in the zone is engage fully in your interests. We have many interests, but some of them really engage us. And in a way, it's it's easy to follow our interests because we're interested in them. So it's rather natural. And people who have studied the flow, uh, researchers say that it's a co-creative experience where you feel at one with what you're doing. You're, you're challenged, you're stretched, uh, you're not overwhelmed. You feel you can be achieving what you're focusing on, uh, but uh, it engages you. Uh, and time stands still. You're at one with the experience. And while you're doing that, you're going to pay attention to the little things. And those little small details can make a difference and really brings out your genius, uh, your brilliance to connect the part to the whole, uh, to illuminate yourself and what you're you're focusing on, what you're engaging in the moment, to being in the zone and, and bringing that zone to make the world a better, more harmonious place. Fourth key, fourth way to get in the zone is what's called deliberate practice. You may have heard of this. Researcher K. Anders Ericsson for many years is, has studied top performers, elite performers in certain fields and found that particular things make them uh, stand out. Uh, and that might be 
include many hours of practice, but not only uh, practice per se, but specific practice that improves their performance. So in certain fields which are uh, that he can study, um, such as, say, sports or being a musician or chess or uh, memory, uh, doing things a certain way, finding out maybe through a coach, and coaching may be a part of this, ways of getting feedback and knowing, wow, if I swing my tennis stroke a little different, if I observe the way that person serves, if I listen to a note or put a certain emphasis in the way I sing or play, um, if I do more strength conditioning, little details over and over over much time uh, makes you stand out and, and that makes the top performers. You may have to do some sacrifice and, and devotion, but you do it out of the love of, of being better. Of, of going to the top, of reaching that higher, elite, rarefied place that top performers do. And in some fields, they might not be as definable as, as, as ones that take certain specific skills. It might take some more intuitive, uh, artistic parts to uh, elevate your ability to be in the zone, too. So remember these four keys about being in the zone. Um, uh, of the magic of thinking big, the small happy life, engaging in your interests, deliberate practice, uh, and you too will make the world a better place by being more in the zone, enjoying your life more in that thrilling, elevated place, bringing your your passions, your dream, your blessings, your interests, uh, your your deliberate practice to make life good for you and other people, illuminating more of what is possible now and going forward into a better future.